Morehead Boys Soccer continues its playoff run tonight, hosting Sartell in the Section 8 3A semifinals. The Spuds advanced Thursday with a 4-1 win over Elk River and now hosts the Sabres for the second time this season. Round one was a five-goal shutout for Moorhead, and they're right back to work tonight. The Spuds breaking through halfway through the first half when Rivar Kekos drops it in the box for Mohamed Namuk. He turns, controls with a defender on his back, and buries it far post for the Spuds' lead, a 1-0 lead that they hold through halftime. Second half now, Spuds with a corner. Max Hodney puts it in play, and Ben Colburn is is waiting far post to head it in for the goal, extending the Moorhead lead to two early second half. They had a third and final with less than two to play in the game. Keiko's left wide open in the box adds a goal to his night. Spuds will host the section championship Thursday at 7 p.m. in Moorhead. As the top seed, they'll host St. Michael Albertville, who defeated Rogers 5-4 after winning a shootout 3-0 in their semifinal matchup tonight. North Dakota State football is back at home this week and turning its attention to Missouri State. The Bears a very different team than the Missouri Valley Football Conference fans may remember from recent years. This Bears squad is led for the second season by Bobby Petrino and the longtime Louisville coach has turned things around in Missouri. Melting together a roster full of transfers, the Bears are currently tied for third in the Valley and ranked 17th nationally as they head for Fargo. No, I, definitely the coaches have uh, made it known that these guys aren't the same as they were, you know, coming in and uh, sitting in the stands watching them blow them out. And these guys are these guys are different. Um, they, they've gotten much better. Their quarterback's gotten a lot better. Um, I, I think he's a Lamar, Lamar Jackson type guy, uh, just runs around the field, makes plays. And, and their wide receiver group is, is uh, awesome. They're, I mean, those guys can make the plays they need, and they, they, they got some weapons on their side. They have a new staff uh, over there at Missouri State, and they have a good thing coming over there. Uh, balance, I think, on defense and, and offense. They got a bunch of weapons on offense, a bunch of transfers who came in and really gave them some spark. This game scheduled for Saturday at 2.30 at the Fargo Dome. Uh, the Bears impressive on third downs, can force some turnovers, uh, dynamic on offense. They're, they're really a team that's garnering the attention of this Bison football team. Of course, can they do it against the Bison, though? And that's what everybody mm -hmm. will tune in to see on Saturday. Another big game. Yes, All certainly. Right. Thanks, Beth. Still a